Fact, fiction, folklore. This story mixes all of these elements together. Fatally, tragically, it ends in the death of a young woman. On the 4th of March, 1662, 18-year-old Mary Lamont made a 13-point confession and was soon burned for witchcraft. These misdeeds chiefly occurred here, in and around the village of Innerkip, now known as Inverkip. One, she came and offered herself willingly to the trial, saying that God moved her heart to confess because she had long lived in the devil's service. Two, under the influence of a local witch, she confessed to going out in the mornings with a jug and saying, in God's name, God send us milk, God send it and lots of it. She was able to steal much of her neighbour's milk in this fashion. Three, she confessed that two and a half years before the trial, the devil came to her. He sung to her and they danced. Four, she confessed that the devil bade her to forsake her baptism by putting one hand on her head and the other on her foot, giving everything betwixt over to him. Five, she confessed that he gave her a new name, he said, you are now called Clouds, you shall call me Serpent. Six, she confessed that the devil nipped her on her right side before healing the wound with his hand, thus leaving his mark on her. The seventh article regards her criminal intercourse with Satan which she first confessed and then denied. She confessed to raising stormy weather to hinder boats from fishing. The devil was with her in the likeness of a brown dog. Nine. She confessed that she went to Alan Orr's house in the likeness of a cat and bit a herring. Alan's wife then died of poisoning after eating the fish. Ten. She confessed to taking to sea to increase the ferocity of a storm which met Colin Campbell's ship and ripped the sails from her. 11. She confessed that she parted with the devil at dawn, within view of the house wherein she was a servant, as witnessed by her master. 12. She confessed that the devil directed her to fetch white sand from the shore and scatter it around the church to cause mischief. He then turned her into the likeness of a cat once more. 
As a mercy, however, it has been suggested that the people of Innerkip may have strangled her first before setting her alight.